Right, everyone, this week's MS project tip is all about hammocks. And uh, it's not that kind of hammock. It's uh, rather the scheduling kind. And the question is, why should a project manager or a scheduler be familiar with hammocks? And, and how can you use them? How can they help you? Uh, firstly, for me, the word hammock is just one of those catchphrases that you can throw around in a meeting. And people will immediately assume that you are very knowledgeable and skilled. And uh, it also helps to make them feel stupid for not knowing what you are talking about. And for me, that usually make them stop buggering you with nonsense uh, for the fear that you'll expose their lack of knowledge with your supreme technical know-how. Uh, the other important aspect of hammocks is that they are very, a very important tool uh, for any scheduler. And in this video, I'm going to show you why that is and how you can use them. And most importantly, how to actually create a hammock in MS project. So firstly, what is a hammock? It's simply an activity whereby you can group a series of unrelated tasks under one heading. And in a hammock, the idea is also that you hang the hammock between two dates. So usually a start and end date and the hammock will then expand and contract as you move those dates around. Right, let me show you. One of the best examples of a hammock activity is an overhead costing activity such as this where we've got a cost loaded schedule but the overall png or the overhead cost needs to run from the start of my project right up until the end uh, if you look at this costing activity i've got my resources loaded onto it so i've got a site agent office and toilet and then uh, establishment and de-establishment so th this is just uh, an example to show you and if i click on ok i can simply go and use the project duration which is 63 days and just punch it in there and you'll see my cost is adjusted and everything stretches from start to finish however i would prefer to rather link my overhead costing activity to the start date and to the completion date because if this project starts a bit later i want that activity to move with it so if something like this needs to happen then I would like that start date to also move in my hammock. Otherwise, I need to go and adjust that back manually the whole time. And the same thing goes with the completion date. So if completion takes longer and as it expands, I would like to see the impact of that on my costing activity. And that's one of the reasons or one of the instances where a hammock activity becomes immensely valuable because that will simply give us the answer and provide us with a dynamic activity. At all times okay now for the dark art of how do you create a hammock in ms project well it's not that difficult so what i'll do is i'll take that star date of mine i'll copy that and i will right click in my start date of the costing activity and now instead of just pasting i will paste it as a link so you go to paste link text data click on ok and the same thing with my project completion date so can you see that i'm grouping now a range of unrelated activities under one heading of overhead costing so i'll take that completion date copy the cell paste special and then click on paste link ok and immediately it pulls it back to the 64 days uh, which is now takes into account that star date and my completion date as well. And what happens is if there should be an expansion now, let's move out this activity. Then you'll see it takes a bit of time. But then it moves out, you see, that activity automatically. And the same thing applies with my completion date. So let's say project completion is now going to take five day overrun. Then you'll see the impact thereof. There we go. Immediately it adjusts that activity. And you can see now the difference is all of a sudden is 108,000 where we had 101,000 beforehand. So you can see the impact on my cost because we are uh, staying longer on site. Than we, than we planned in initially. 
and that's the value of that hammock activity all right guys i hope you enjoyed the video stay tuned and go to our youtube channel if you want to subscribe for more tips like this on ms project and i'll see you guys in the next video